Newcastle will have to cough up £50 million to get their hands on unsettled Manchester United star Scott McTominay. That is the price tag on the Reds midfielder despite the fact he remains more a squad player than regular starter under Eric Ten Hag. McTominay, 26, has been on Newcastle's radar for some time and Toon boss Eddie Howe believes he would be an ideal addition in the close season. The Scot underlined his quality during the last international break when he scored four times in two Euro qualifiers, with doubles against both Cyprus and Spain, and bagged United's opening goal against Everton on Saturday too. Although United boss Ten Hag has started McTominay in United's last three games, the pair have held talks over his long-term Old Trafford future. With Danish playmaker Christian Eriksen fit again after three months out and Brazilian ace Casemiro also available following suspension, McTominay is set to drop back down the midfield pecking order. Frustration over that limited game time means McTominay, who has made 98 league appearances in his Reds career, wants to move, with high-flying Newcastle the likely destination. The Geordies are in the thick of the race for Champions League qualification and need to strengthen ahead of next season. McTominay will not come cheap, though, as he still has two years left on his United contract, with an option for an additional 12 months. Meanwhile, Toon director of football Dan Ashworth is already busy making signings, to revamp the club's scouting operation. Ashworth, pivotal in the rise of England on the world stage and Brighton domestically, has poached two scouts from Man City, Paul Midgley and Paul McLaren, and is on the hunt for more in Europe. That is all down to Newcastle's stunning campaign with Howe's men sitting inside the Premier League top four. After losing to Man UTD at Wembley in the Carabao Cup final, they bounced back with four wins in five league games before yesterday's trip to West London to face Brentford. That included thumping West Ham 5-1 in midweek and beating Ten Hag's Reds 2-0 at St James Park last Sunday. Now